Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Mark from Jazz Guitar Lessons and in this lesson we're going to talk about a pro tip on how to comp on standards. So I get a lot of students questions asking, well, I want to comp on this song, should I learn all inversions? But Barry Harris said my six diminishes, the thing I got to learn, and then there's all these extensions, so we will relax. I'll give you a three-step process on how to get from really easy chords to flying around on the fretboard. So let's get going. All right, the prerequisite step to doing this video is to find what I call my staple shapes. There can be numerous staples. You can have a staple that's different to, for you. It doesn't really matter. I'll show you my favorite ones. Let's start with a C major. So if we had a C major chord we wanted to play in a jazz style, I would start with a C6, something like this. A shape that has the root on the sixth string. And you can do C major 7 if you wanted, or another version of a major chord. I like the C6, it's pretty soft. And from that I will uh, extrapolate my other chord. So this is a major chord. What if I wanted a minor? I'll do a minor 7 like this, pretty simple. I will do a dominant, so a C7 with a 13, like this. And I will do my C minor 7 flat 5 or C diminished or whatever in this fashion. All right, now I have four chord families that are overarchingly covering 90 percent of cases on jazz chord progressions. All right, after I have that, I actually only have four shapes. I will take these four and migrate my C root down here to a fifth string root. So I will go back to my major minor and dominant chord family and my diminished or you know crazy minor 7 flat 5. So the C, major 9, is my favorite, so soft, right? And then the dominant will be like this, this is my C9, I love that chord. And then minor 7, minor 9, 9, or minor 7 like this, and C minor 7 flat 5 finally. Okay, now that we have that, we're sort of ready to attack a song. I will take an example in this video, because it was like requested by students on my accelerator, link in the description below, where Actually, it's like, how do you comp on Stella by Starlight? I want to do inversions, I want to sound jazzy, I want to do all these things. I can't just sit on a chord. Yeah, what we did in the first step, establishing the staple chords, it's not going to make us sound like a Matheny or Schofield or a, a Kenny Burrell or a Wes, for sure. But here are the steps that we'll get from. At first, take Stella, and you can look at all of the shapes, all of the chord symbols. I'm pointing to my eye reel on my screen, right? My eye reel is open. So we will look at all the shapes and sort of make a decision. When I encounter this first chord, I want to play it like this, like that, like that. I'm going to do this out of time. Okay, that's like step zero. This is what we do. Then in step one, what we do is that we take it in time. So simply, I will take all of the shapes and uh, we'll maybe apply them with a simple Charleston, like something like that. Just uh, uh, two, three, four. Something really groovy. Repeating. Two, three, four. keep that time uh, because I feel like in jazz we <laughs> we flash I allow myself to sort of cheat on the rhythm because we're playing these complicated voicings right and intricate rhythms it's important to be right on time to be like dead on the clock on the beat to be in the pocket now well, let's move on to the second step so in the second step that you can do with the, all, your own staple voicings you can simply remove the root and start to play mostly on strings D, G, and B. So if you build the staples like me, if I take the C6, if I remove the root, what I'll be left with is these three notes. And we could say, well, that's, that's a shell of the C6. And if I go to my C major 6, 9, I can remove the root again and have that, what I could call a shell of my C my C6 9. So in step two, I will look to comp on Stella by Starlight again by comping on the D, G, and B strings. So my middle strings of the guitar, sort of middle register. It's not too high, it's not too low. And yet, if I do that properly, I don't really have to run through all chord inversions and do like the Barry Harris things and do go crazy about extensions. I can simply know that, well, I was right and good with my staples and my timing is strong, and therefore, if I just remove the bass note, the root note, I can still be good and strong and still sound like a guitarist. Aha, and now we're getting the harmonic territory of knowing which notes we're playing, more like piano players rather than just comping by shape. Let's go to the third step. So in the third step, what I'd like to do is simply add a top string. So I'll give you an example. One thing I like to do with the C major 6 9 at first is going off the root, so I call this my shell plus 1. Shell plus 1 is 3 strings, and I'll even do that. I'll do a C6 9, so E, A, and D, right? 
So that's a shell plus one of a C major. <laughs> Can you believe this? So you see the chart says C major, but you are playing, there's no C, and it's not a crazy inversion. It's just three good notes of the C major key center. So shell plus one is the shell plus the B string. So we have three strings and shell plus two is these two notes plus a top string. So I would do a C6-9 like this with a G added on top. Same process here, I would go like this. Lazy voicings, I love those with just two fingers, right? So that's in the third step, what we're doing is just expanding the register a little bit. So just to recap, we will start with our staple voicings of four notes, typically a root on the fifth or sixth and the three notes uh, in the middle. So we have what, what we could call the shell and the one. Then we remove the bass and we are left with a shell plus one. Then we add the top string and we have a shell plus two. So I have three distinct ways on which I would like to comp and demonstrate for you on Stella by Starlight for the rest of this video, in which I sort of have a plan. I may cack certain rhythms and not be in time. I may use a different thing that I have under my hand. I may spend a bar not playing because I sort of missed the bar line. I missed the beat. That's, that's totally fine. But at least I have a plan for not uh, making things more complicated than they need to be. So in the rest of this video, I will stand up. I will just show my fretboard. I am comping with iReel at 132 on Stella by Starlight. One chorus each per step of this video. I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon on the Jazz Guitar Fellowship, which is a free group of thousands of students. This is absolutely at no charge. You get to hang out with me, get the same trainings as my students and the link is found in the description below. I will see you there very soon. Happy comping. Bye. Step one, staples. Shell plus one. Help us too. 